Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about the ultimate beekeeper's logbook. That's right, so I wrote a beekeeping book about a year ago. It's available on Amazon, self-published, and it's all about keeping track of your bees, your bee data, all of that stuff. This is a great book for the beginner beekeeper or even someone that has a few hives like I do. Um, I'd say, you know, if you have 20 or less hives, this book can be very useful for you. If you're a hobby beekeeper, this book can be very helpful for you. Now, what I think makes this book different than most beekeeping books is this is a book you actually bring into your bee yard with you to keep track of data. So like I said, first and foremost, this is a beekeeping log book. So my first year of beekeeping, I was nervous when I was opening up the hive. I wasn't sure what I was looking at, what I was supposed to be looking for. It was really kind of frustrating and intimidating. Um, that's why I went and I learned as much as I could about beekeeping over the years to become a better beekeeper. So this logbook is going to help you keep track of what you're looking at and what you're looking for. Um, and what's important, you don't know there's a problem in your beehives if you're not identifying that problem initially. So that is what this book really helps you do. It helps you keep track of your queen, your, your brood amount, your eggs, your pollen. Um, I really took my time to figure out what I really needed to share with other people to help them become a better beekeeper. So I'm going to just talk about the table of contents so you can see what to expect inside this book. First, I talk a little bit about my own journey into beekeeping, the joy of beekeeping. Top 10 questions asked by new beekeepers. So I went out and I asked other new beekeepers what they really wanted to know. The language of beekeeping, so I share a lot of beekeeping terms. Really, beekeeping has its own vocabulary, its own language, really. You really need to understand those terms when you start your beekeeping journey. Um, I also have charts for you to keep track of your beekeeping supplies. A year of blooms, which I really like. Um, if you're going to be a beekeeper, you're also going to become an amateur botanist because bees need flowers. So you're gonna to start to learn how to identify flowers and trees in your area when they're blooming, which is really important. So that's what I do every year. I keep track of what's blooming in my area and when, and I'm learning about trees, new flowers. It's really important if there's something blooming that helps you know that your bees are able to get nectar. It also helps you kind of generally know at the very least what type of honey you're getting. Um, I also have a section about the apiary setup, your bee yard. How should you set up your bee yard? Where should you put it? Um, I have a great section on the bee life cycle. I am a biology teacher. I have a master's in biology. Um, so I really share with you the bee life cycle. And by understanding that life cycle of the queen, of the workers, of the drones, if you can understand the biology of bees, that's really going to help you with your inspection. So that's another section that's really, really helpful. I have a section on how to find the queen. That's something that I really struggled with my first year. Um, and I have a section on what to do when you can't find the queen. Because guess what? You're not always going to find the queen even though she's there. Um, I have a section about common pests and parasites, the inspection log. And like I said, the inspection log, you actually bring this inspection log into your bee yard and you keep track of all of your data. So over time, you can see what's happening in your bee yard, your ap area, and you can figure out if there's a problem happening. Um, what else do I got in here? Some good stuff, people. Um, a honey harvest log so you can keep track of your harvest. Um, your bee business income. Some of us are just beekeeping for fun. Some of us want to make a little money. Some of us want to make a lot of money. 
I made over $600 my first year as a beekeeper with two hives. That's because I made a lot of value added products. So that was really important. I've included every recipe that I use in this book. Um, there's also a section to keep track of swarm trapping if you want to get into um, swarm traps. Um, there's a section on the queen rearing. There's um, the recipes, like I said, and there's general notes. This is a great book, like I said, as a gift for the beginning beekeeper in your life or a gift for yourself, right? Award yourself, reward yourself, right? Um, I've been a beekeeper for a few years. I'm still learning a lot. I am updating this book with more information all the time. That's a great thing about a self-published book on Amazon. I can update it whenever I want. I'm able to add new pictures, new information, new recipes. So I am actually updating this every now and then um, with new and even better information. So this is a great book. It's available on Amazon. Just type in the Ultimate Beekeeper's Logbook. Um, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. There are other uh, log books for beekeeping on Amazon, but if you really look at them, they're all just blank notebook pages. I've done all the work for you, and um, I just love beekeeping so much. It's just a joy. I want to share that with you. Um, I've started a high school club for beekeepers in the last two years. We've gotten sponsors. We've worked with local business owners. We've had a really great time sharing our joy of beekeeping with other people. So if you're interested in becoming a beekeeper or you just want to learn the basics and a little bit past the basics in this book, I really suggest this. Ultimate Beekeeper's Logbook. Find it on Amazon. And thank you for your support.